Okay, welcome to Sophia and Luisa's Zoom In. I am so excited to have three fabulous filmmakers who are working on a collaboration of sorts. Um, I will introduce them and let them tell a little bit about themselves before we dive in. We have Rob Margulies of Los Angeles. He's with First Frame International Film Festival, and he is partnering with Jessica Corolla, Corollo. Right, am I saying, okay, Carlo, um, you're also in Los Angeles, correct? No, I'm actually in New York. Oh, you're in New York, I love it. Yes. Yeah, it's a little late for me, but you know, I'm a night owl, so it's good. Thank <laughs> you so much for joining us. And Erin Miracle of Miracle Makers International Film Festival. Um, what, why don't we go ahead and start with you, Rob, if you don't mind getting, telling us a little bit about yourself. I'm a filmmaker, been doing it for like most of my life. Uh, definitely knew this path and I created First Frame International to really give filmmakers who are any age, whether they're starting off or they're seasoned, a real voice and they can really a, a chance to utilize my contacts and resources to make it in the industry, which is something that I felt was lacking from previous festivals that I've attended. Well, that's great. Um, and Jessica? Um, I'm Jessica. I'm, I'm a producer, an actress, a video editor, um, awesome aunt. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, I, I, I've been around this business since I was a kid. Uh, my folks worked in the entertainment industry as well. So I was kind of around it. Um, I literally grew up on soap operas. Literally, I was on the sets for them since I was a little kid. Um, mm. And so it's kind of been in my blood and my DNA to to pursue the arts, I guess. So yeah, that's all well, great. I'm glad you're still with it. Okay, and Erin? Hi, I'm Erin Miracle of Miracle Makers International Film Festival. And I'm a writer, producer as well. I'm also an actress and a dancer and a choreographer. Um, and Miracle Makers, you know, a lot, of, a lot of what it's about is in the name. Um, kind of my slogan is stories that make you believe. And my experience going to AOF um, which is our host of both of our festivals, was a life-changing event. And I found people who believed in me in a way that others hadn't um, in the past. And it's changed my career completely. So I want to kind of replicate that for anybody who comes and submits to my festival and attends or, or people that can't attend, but to give them a platform and to give them attention um, and believe in them so that they can rise their star to the next level. Well, that's all very exciting. Now, what's in, what I think is great, this is the first festival for both of you, for each of your respective, um, for Miracle Makers and for First Frame. And I, I, anything that's new is always exciting because you never know what to expect. But you guys are doing something a little different yourselves. You are actually joining forces do you want to share a little bit about that? Um, um, yeah, um, I wouldn't know about this uh, opportunity if it weren't for Erin, really. So uh, I met her at AOF two years ago, um, 2019, right? Um, and yeah, we became friends and we, yeah, like uh, she was running this festival um, with Dell and AOF before I got involved with it. And um, I guess she was one of the reasons why, like, you know, like, I, th I thought it was like, you know, worth it. Like if she was putting so much effort into it and like I knew Dell previously. So yeah, I wanted to be part of it. Um, just sounded like a fun opportunity and a way to really grow my business as well. Yeah, what I think special about First Frame, not to take away from yours, Aaron, because yours is special too. Um, but what's cool about First Frame is that you have a production company. You have, you, so you come from it as a producer's point of view as well. Um, exactly. How, Jessica, how did you team up with Rob to be part of this? Um, so I've known Rob for a couple of years now and we're currently working on another feature film project as a producer. And he had brought to me this idea about this film festival. And um, I know that he has other side projects going on and it just seemed like the perfect fit for Rob. And when he asked me to join on board, it just made the most sense. I love filmmaking i love filmmakers i love artists i just think it's a great opportunity to kind of collaborate and see new projects and there's so much talent out there and what i think rob is offering particularly for this festival i think is is really unique and special and i just wanted to kind of be at the ground level where it was starting so i'm just really grateful that he asked me to be a part of it 
Well, that's great. Well, every great thing starts with a single step, right? You have to plant those things and you have to make it happen no matter what. And Rob, like you were saying earlier, it doesn't matter what age you are. You know, if you want to do it, you have to do it. Um, so, all right, Aaron. So how did you get to be part of Miracle Makers? How did Miracle you have? That was kind of a gift from Dell. So just another one of the many, many things that Dell has done for me. Um, you know, I think as an actor in Hollywood and pursuing the career in that industry, that, that part of the industry was a lot of rejection and discouragement um, and a lot of empty promises and meeting Dell. You know, I kind of had um, my, my, my defense is up a little bit. And, and since then, you know, everything that he's offered, he's delivered on. And I think it's interesting because we're both new. Um, both of our fests are new, but AOF is not. AOF has a history of um, providing this incredible experience at the mega fest. So I think we get to offer, you know, both this new fresh approach and I and um, with our festivals, but we're also offering people, you know, something that's been around for a while. Um, so Dell offered me the opportunity to, to do my own festival, which is kind of a dream come true. And, and then Rob hit me up about uh, wanting to, to find great films to distribute and great scripts to develop. And I, I am such a huge fan of Rob and his work. Um, I kind of latched onto him at the, the fest where we met at AOF in 2019 and just fell in love with the heart um, behind all of his films. And so he seemed like just the perfect person to bring on. Um, and we're actually collaborating on a promotion that we just made public. Um, so if you submit to both of our festivals, you get half off of both of them. And I know that you know, I'm going to be bringing in, I think, a lot of filmmakers that, that want to be seen and being able to partner with Rob is going to just give them the opportunity of a lifetime. So I really hope that that people take take us up on that offer. Now, I did see that offer. It looks very exciting. And what I really like, which is a big draw, is these prizes you're offering, which sound absolutely phenomenal because as a young filmmaker or independent filmmaker, people are always like striving to be seen or, you know, how do I develop my script or how do I get distribution or as an actor in indie films, like how do I actually get paid? You know, and you guys are actually offering these as prizes, which is very exciting. Unless I'm wrong, if you'd like to talk a little bit about that or did I get it or am I way off the mark? That definitely goes to Rob. Um, yeah, um, that's the, the real reason why I'm, I'm doing this. Like um, I approached Aaron and I approached many other um, filmmakers and people who I know and respect in the industry about the fact that I'm seeking scripts to produce and films to distribute if, I, if, they, if certain films need a home. Because um, like, I, I found a way to beat the untrusted sales agent in the industry, which is like that middleman that no one should have to um, be uh, forced to, to, to work with in a sense. They should be able to go straight to a distributor. Um, so I kind of want to bridge that gap for a lot of filmmakers. And like, that's kind of looking at, and like just the whole fact that um, I knew Aaron now was running this film festival. I mean, it really just put the light bulb in my head about like, you know, like running a film festival and like, uh, and, and finding content that way. Right. Well, it sounds like a great opportunity for applicants because I know people from around the world will want to submit just for that opportunity. I hope now, so. Now, all of you will be in Vegas in July, right? Ooh. Okay, good. All right, nothing's stopping you guys, right? Let's let's you know, pray that everything goes well. Um, now, what I love is that you you all bring a very fresh voice because AOF Megafest has been around what night eighteen years now. Go, you know. Not, not too far off from 20. So he, um, it's very established with you know different festivals who've been there pretty much a long time too. But you're really bringing a fresh blood to this. I mean, you're all very, uh, you guys are millennials, right? Kind of, sort of. Kind yeah. of. I wish huh. we could have such a negative connotation about it, but yes, we are. <laughs> right, millennials, yes. You know, that injection of, you know, vibrancy and yeah, I don't see anything negative about it. I have a millennial child. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> um, 
you know, I, I think the millennials got it right. Right. You know, and so you guys are bringing in this new blood, this new energy, and you're offering opportunities for people who want to take that risk of putting it out there. And it does, it does take courage for someone to put something, you know, even to write, but to submit it and you know, to actually put together an in independent film. You know, if they have no budget or low budget and you guys are giving them the platform to say, hey, you know, we'll take a look at it. You know, and that's, that's what any artist wants is someone to really take a look at it. And if they say, if you say yes, you know, your official selection, come on down. They have an opportunity to meet all these people in these other festivals. Yeah. Um, and really build their network and and hopefully have a lot of fun. Now, will you guys be doing any workshops or panels um, together or separately while there? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll speak really briefly about one. I released a movie last year called Immortal and it's like a feature film that I made, produced um, and distributed and, and paid for all the uh, distribution costs like, uh, like myself for um, well under like $100,000. Oh, wow. And I basically wow. want to teach a, a workshop there that we're still developing that shows filmmakers like um, every line item that I spent and like um, and has has name actors in it and everything else and just showing them that where to allocate their money um, and and the fact that and I'll show them the sales reports for the movie as well so they can see just how you can make money in the industry if you have a really marketable concept and you use your money wisely. And um, I really want to launch this class because I'm going to be launching a couple of uh, WeFunders uh, campaigns this summer. And I want to start showing investors on a much larger scale that uh, I could make a profit on a low budget film. That's great. Well, they need an artist need to know that if you're a filmmaker, you need to know those steps because a lot of times they just figure they have to make the movie and they don't think about what happens next. Uh, that sounds like a brilliant. Is that a class that you'll be videotaping possibly and showing? Um, no. That's going to be like, a you got to go be at this festival to be there. Um, otherwise, it's going to be online um, for a, a ritzy rate, because I think this class is like a, a gem that right. I kind of only want clientele that are willing to pay for it. Right. Well, that's a, that's a great idea. That's a very good idea. And I, I think people should definitely, yeah. definitely I, I want to go to that class. You know, you know what? It took me 10 years of, of, of messing up, essentially, and not doing it right to be able to teach this class. So yeah, it's like, how else can you, what's right. the price on learning from like a, someone who, who has established mistakes for 10 years? Not that they were mistakes because everything you do is a stepping stone to get to where you are now. So I don't really consider them to be mistakes at all, but right. yeah. Well, and that's great too, because you're currently putting those steps in place as you are creating new films now. Exactly. You know, so literally practicing what you, preaching yeah. right my, my business model now is make, making films for about 250 which is like more than double what this movie immortal was um and selling them for about five hundred thousand, like minimum closer to a million hopefully like like bob kept ready is a perfect example of that yeah well that's exciting i'm yeah. i'm in i'm down you know so um aaron are you gonna be offering any type of class oh you know what we have um carrie joining in let me just okay. let her in and um all right. Um, so sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's, it, it always has like a different energy when you have people come in live, to share the conversation, as it gets going. Um, so I know that'll take a minute for her to log in. Um, but Erin, have you considered what kind of workshops you'll be having? Yes, I, I get to, i um, honored to do um, a seminar that's called How to Win an Oscar with Oscar nominated producer Roger Harrison. He was the producer of the film, The Chosen, that was 1982, um, nominated for an Oscar. Um, and his story of how, I mean, he really, he wasn't even a filmmaker at all. He just latched onto this book and this story and took it from the inspiration to, to the Oscars. Um, so that's one of the seminars that I'll be offering with him in person. Um, we're gonna do a content creator seminar and you know you are just an example of the talent that is creating their own content. And we have some speakers who, who have taken their content and, and gained followings of you know, 50,000 people. And to see these, these artists take 
their career and their work into their own hands. And to see that kind of trend um, growing and growing, I really want to provide people that come the opportunity to understand how to do that successfully, because we do have a new opportunity to promote ourselves and to share our work in a way that didn't exist before. And then we're gonna have a seminar on women overcoming. Um, I think that it's, it's maybe um, even more challenging for a woman sometimes in the industry. I know I, I um, had my own issues with certain predators in, uh, in Hollywood. And I definitely want to not only support and encourage women in, in filmmaking and art. I mean, my, my festival has a variety of categories from film to art, to poetry, um, but also in supporting other women because it's, there's actually a lot of studies that show that as we're breaking you know, the glass ceiling, um, we still have a little bit of insecurity with one another and really just encouraging each other to, to not feel that there's a competition, um, but realize that, that rising waters lift all ships. So those are my, my seminars, that, and, and they will be recorded. Um, I do have a lot, a lot of traffic to my um, site for the, for the festival from all over the world. And I know that not a lot of people can come. So that's part of my package that I'm offering to people that can't attend is, all of our seminars will be uh, recorded and given to those people that submit for free. Oh, that's exciting. But then again, the bonus of actually being there in person, you get to see every festival, which is to me is like an ex extra bonus. Now, yeah. Jessica, is this gonna be your first time at AOF Megafest? It is. So I'm getting the whole first experience the first time. I never been to Vegas either. So oh. it's all a bunch of firsts for me, which is exciting. The first one post COVID or post yeah -COVID or my first vacation spot um, event since COVID, which again that's mm -hmm. it's special in that regard because it really means like fresh start, new beginning. So right, which is a perfect timing for both of your festivals. You know this new time of new beginnings. Yeah. Now, Jessica, what will you? What are you going to be doing in the festival? Are you going to be part of any conferences or? Yeah, I'm going to be helping. I'm going to be standing right next to Rob and being awesome. part of all these seminars and, you know, doing all these networking events. I mean, we are planning um, a couple cocktail hours when we're actually might be partnering with Aaron on, which is really exciting. We're still figuring out those details, but, um, you know, I'm really kind of being like his right hand man or right hand woman uh, <laughs> in this situation. Um so yeah, I'm, I'm constantly in talks with Dell and Aaron and just trying to organize everything, figure out the little details, but I'm going to just be there to, you know, help answer any questions and, you know, watch a lot of good movies. Um, oh. to, to this woman's credit, she's literally producing a film, helping me run this film festival, oh. helping me do several other side projects, as well as running five interns, and she has her own assistant as well. So she's a very modest too. Yeah, and she answers my texts like every time. So yeah. she's been a joy um, to work with on my end as well. Thank you guys. That's really great. <laughs> <laughs> on time to act. What? And you're still acting or? I'm still acting, yeah. I had booked a, I booked a gig uh, about a month or two ago, which I'm really proud of. And, you know, I'm, I'm very lucky. I, you know, I have a wonderful manager who's just taking care of me and, really understands where I am and yeah like I said it's been really good and I'm very excited and oh, we'll see what happens. yeah well, you know they say if you want something done give it to a busy person yes that is <laughs> very true <laughs> great, I should put that on my website <laughs> <laughs> yeah because yeah exactly figure out how to manage your time and you make you make the time for it and you don't let anything go and everything is in the details you know so it, go. exactly yeah. like that. when Absolutely. you're you know filmmakers yeah the details are so important you know and yeah. and as you bring that to the festival and you're able to you know network yourself you know every, it seems like everything is just going to fall into place for everyone which is what which is what i'm hoping for yeah, absolutely. absolutely and something that really stuck with me and still sticks to me to this day is um 
I think it was uh, the originality of where it came from. I'm not really sure, but I know I heard Lin-Manuel Miranda had said it at one point and he said, you know, everybody has the same amount of hours in the day and it's just, what do you choose to do with it? And it's so true because it's like, there's so much that you think, oh, I don't have time. Either you don't have time or you have all the time in the world. And I just feel like, especially in this industry, it's like, you can't put it off or you can't just wait on something. It's you have only today and we literally don't know what's going to happen. And I think last year was a perfect example of that. Of like, you just don't know what's going to happen in the world. What's going to shut down, what's going to be stopping. And it's, you know, I've, I've really now had that echo in my head of the little time that we have or the time that we do have, just take advantage of it and just do you. And, you know, hopefully we'll see a much more easy going future um, now, but you know, that's, that's always stuck in my head as far as organizing and prioritizing things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it also goes with intention because I mean, you guys have all made things happen. You are making a film festival happen. There's no excuses. You're doing it. And I know I've met many screenwriters, even a lot of actors you know, who want this career, but you have to make the choice that you're going to put in the work to do it. And you guys are all proof that you are doing it so there are no excuses unless you really don't want it right right yeah but and i think i think the benefit too is that it's so collaborative that especially this festival you know it's not just one director but it's it's 15 festivals in one and so to get to work with jess and with rob and with dell and with annabelle and, and loreen and and all of these people i mean and i know you're doing um an art show so that just makes us all infinitely more amazing and and can offer people so much more because of that and you didn't even mention that you're also like the lead of two films coming out like that you're working on <laughs> before the festival starts on top of it so she's like also a little powerhouse of herself there <laughs> and i'm going to germany to do a documentary on my dad uh in six days Are you directing uh, it? yeah awesome that's well, just how how that's what you got to do to make it. Just, mm -hmm. I'm not to toot our horn, but it's like, yeah, but not saying no and just keep busy. And like, um, basically, like it, my, my motto is like most people like strive for like eight hours of sleep a night, right? And yeah, I, I get that every once in a while, but like getting five hours of sleep, like you know, for the most part, a month, that literally gives you think about this, like a, of waking hours, four extra days a month, well, days of like time to do work. Imagine that, and know what yeah. kind of work you want to do exactly putting it all into action yeah that's how you finish a screenplay you know but you gotta have the concept down first most people get stuck because they don't know what they're writing ahead of time well yeah so do you think that goes to having to know the structure or oh, some yeah. uh, there's, there's people who do write without structure to me are either geniuses or they have a long way to go <laughs> like one or the other <laughs> yeah. right I think it takes it just takes the vision first if you know where your target is um then you can know how to get there yeah. and and that's easier said than done and often not not fully understood but huh. but definitely Rob I've seen your vision come to life many times and it definitely hits the target I agree Erin I do and that's, um, that's why I'm so excited for these future projects. You know, it's, I think there's a lot of great things coming up the pipeline, so. That's very, well, and as film, you know, you guys are all pretty much writers as well as filmmakers. So when you have a script, you have to know how you're gonna be able to make it happen. So I think that's where structure really comes into play, right? Or is there, um, is there anything you like to give to, like let screenwriters know about when they submit to you, to your festivals and what, what they should be thinking about as they submit or should they, should they just go for it? Um, just go for it. And literally, like if I find five scripts that I really believe in, I will option five scripts. If I find 10, I'll option 10. If I find one, that's it. But one's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. I can guarantee you there'll be a lot more than one though, so. Well, that's good. Do you want to explain a little bit what optioning means? Because I know there are going to be some listeners out there who don't really understand that concept of optioning a script. And optioning means like um, I will make you an offer and I will give you a contract and it'll be for X amount of time. And in that period of time, I will try to get that movie made. And like um, 
that person who wrote it has, will have the option of like a, watching all the steps that I take in order to try to get it made. Um, yeah. That's exciting. I mean, that's- so I'll give them a deal. There's so many writers out there who want that opportunity, you know, especially, you know, who've been doing it for a long time and they just like, well, what, what's next? So you guys are giving them that what next opportunity. Okay, so what's this about an actor or, well, actor and actress having the ability or the opportunity of possibly winning a page gig? Yeah, um, we just instilled like a, 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 a demo reel competition for actors where they can submit their demo reel and I'm gonna nominate five actors and five actresses, give them all access passes to the festival and at the festival, one actress and one actor will be awarded um, best actor, best actress. And this could also come not just from like a reel, but like from like a, a, a piece of work in the festival. Um, that, that'll be like in there as well. But um, I'm looking for like the best actress and it could be from like a moment in a short film. It could be like, you know, the fact that she's, she or he carried a feature film. Mm -hmm. um, I'll know it when I see it, but I just want to find like the next undiscovered man and woman, I guess, or boy and girl, if they're any age, yeah. Double X or XY. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to submit to that because I'm secretly hoping that one day Rob will cast me in one of his movies. <laughs> oh. I'll produce a film and you'll be in it. So there you go. <laughs> you, know? you have to just, you just, you never know what's going to happen. You know, and so people need to know that there are these opportunities and they have to, you know, put themselves out there. It, and I think it takes a lot of courage, you know, to do that because I, I admit as, you know, screenwriters, they get so involved in their work, they become so invested in it. Um, I think there, there may be like a certain number of certain amount of fear saying, oh my God, what if it's rejected? But at the same time, you put in hours and hours and hours of your life to create it. So what would you say to a screenwriter who has that fear? I mean, would you say anything to them or? Oh, they got, they got a long way to go if they have fear over that. Because, oh my God, that's just like the first step of about a hundred other layers of possible fear to come if it mm -hmm. even makes it to the next level. So get over yourself, right? Like, oh my God, this industry moves so fast that if you you can't really have fear if you have fear then you were not cut out for this industry because i say this all the time is if you don't have that passion and you don't have like that confidence and the hustle and like the desire and like the yearning to do it find something else to do with your life because there are more scumbags predators awful people in this industry than any other industry and you know, you won't make friends in this industry because it is a competition, whether you want to admit it or not. And I hate to be so negative, but it's absolutely true. Well, there are exceptions. I mean, you, you guys are working- There are exceptions. There are exceptions to everything. But I'm just saying in comparison. Right, exactly. And I definitely have some, you know, things, comments to say to writers. I mean, first of all, I think, you know, my fest is is 100% designed for those kind of, first, the people who are taking that first leap of faith um, that I am really trying to pay attention to and build up the, the people that are facing that fear for, for maybe the first time. Um, and I think that it's interesting, there's nothing new under the sun, you know, and for writers, as far as having a structure that that hero's journey is, that's that's what movies are. It's kind of just a remake of that, but but every single person is unique. So the only thing that's new under the sun is your story and your voice. And so if you can find that and have the faith to, to put that out there and do it enough to the point where you find somebody who, who sees it or believes in it, or you develop your skills um, through that faith process, then, then you really do have something special. So yeah, I mean, Rob knows knows you know the industry in and out and has done it so successfully for so long and I think that's the beauty of our collaboration is you know me trying to find people who um who haven't been seen or heard yet that that do have a voice and do have a unique way of telling maybe maybe the same story that's been told a hundred times but because it's 
from their heart, um, it's something special. I, th I think people have to trust that because I, I have heard from a couple of different people saying, well, there are so many writers or there's so many stories. How does mine stand out or why should I? And of course I'm like, well, why are you writing that? <laughs> um, but you just said it beautifully. You know, Each individual has his or her own voice that needs to be heard. So if you're going to invest that time, do it, put yourself out there. And you are a group of people who want to see it, who want to read the scripts, who want to see the movies, who want to be there to see if something can really happen out of this. Um, if an opportunity came up where you met someone and it, they weren't selected, you know, they didn't win, but you, you met in a networking group, but you really like this person, you, you think they really have a talent, um, is that something where if they reached out to you, would you like take their call or their email? Um, would you allow them to follow up with you afterwards? Well, I'll jump on that really quick because Carrie right here is, is exactly that. She, uh, we did not know each other. She, she knew my sister way back when and a mutual friend encouraged her to submit. She reached out. Um, I reached out back and I know her story now and she's coming back into acting. She wrote a short film, uh, which will be, which has been accepted. Um, and then I, I recognized in her what, what, you know, a lot of my own story. And so I talked to Dell and Dell said, you know, do you really want me to help this, this girl with an opportunity? And I said, yes. So he's going to be giving her a role in a project um, at some point. So fantastic. that's exactly what can happen. Congratulations, Carrie. That's fantastic. See, you have to go for it. You have to put it out there. No, that's, I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, so we have this festival coming up. You guys are collaborating together. Are you going to be working with any other of the festivals or is that just going to be part of you being there sharing space? We're all kind of working together, I guess. I guess yeah. And, yeah. Right. Absolutely. Maybe every Saturday morning. Yeah. Virtual that's meeting. A, yeah. And it's another really cool aspect. So, um, instead of it being really individualized festivals where you go and you screen films from this festival, but you're not really involved, everything's gonna be intermingled. Um, the seminars are gonna, we're kind of gonna funnel each other into each other's seminars and screenings and networking events. Um, so everything that every other fest has to offer, when you get accepted into any of our fests, you get a $750 value which is like an all access pass to almost everything. Um, so, I mean, if, if I think the most expensive mine is 65, that, that covers your cost of the entry, the seminars, the uh, screenings. So it's a, it's a magnificent deal. And it's not just my fest, but it's everybody's. Right. Uh, okay, so say someone does not submit, and they decide that they want to go anyway. Are they welcome to buy a ticket and go, or is it pretty much only for people who have been accepted? There will be on the AOF website, which is actiononfilmfest.com. There will be um, tickets that people can buy and come. Um, I do have a lot of people that are calling me saying we want to come. And of course, I'm still encouraging them to submit something. I have a category for almost everything under the sun. Um, so that's still going to be the most affordable way. And then currently for the uh, award shows, which I think we're adding on another night, you, you do need to buy a ticket separately. And those are on sale right now on the AOF website. Um, but because, you know, we, it's, it's a little bit limited. If you are submitting, then you're guaranteed in. And that's happening now. Whereas the just buying the tickets, which will be available, um, those are going to be up a little bit later. So there's an option. But I, I recommend if, even if you got a poet poem, or and my friend said she's going to do a short film about her cat. So, but she said he's really talented. So you know, could be an award winner. We'll Your mental film. There you go. Uh, the the first frame um, award ceremony that will be on the thirtieth, um, the evening of the thirtieth. And that'll be like a like a, a, f a free event. Oh, okay. you, let you know, yeah. Um, how is that working? Um, um, after the last screening, uh, we'll be handing out the awards. 
um, pretty much every single film that is selected will be winning something. Okay. And that's the way the first frame works. Um, they don't know what they'll be winning yet, but they're going to be nominated um, and they're going to win something. Um, whether it's just a nomination or like a, or a win, they're, 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 that's what they have going, in, going into the festival if they know that they were selected. Okay, that's really exciting. Now this is going to yeah. be at Galaxy Theaters in Las Vegas, yeah. right? And I understand the theaters are absolutely amazing. So to so for someone to go in to watch all so all the films will be showing on the thirtieth for first frame, is that right? The twenty ninth and the thirtieth. But on the thirtieth, after the last film, you'll be having your little award ceremony or your like award ceremony. Like a half an hour event, yeah. A small, oh. short, yeah. Just to award everyone, and celebrate them, and then we can get on party elsewhere oh that's fantastic yeah. that's, it makes it more intimate and i i like that that sounds like a great and idea we're, and we're also planning in the works on the 28th right just the night before we start having like a big opening night just party party yeah, yeah. is that going to be where would that be at details to be announced okay and they will find that information on actionfilmfest.com or in our in our website firstframeinternational.com. Okay. And I'm sure hopefully Dell and Aaron and everybody will announce it and, and be there. I hope. Yeah. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah. Be there. I have to be there. But everyone will be there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the networking is. I I met Rob just networking and and being friendly and and see what can come of it. So there's the networking events alone are worth worth the travel right now there will be networking pretty much every day of the festival right um how exactly will that work because i know there i know aof is known for its parties and so i'm assuming there's gonna be like late night parties but then cocktail networking events will there be like breakfast type events or what exactly do you have lined up for networking well i don't i know Rob and Jess and I are hoping to collaborate on some special cocktail networking events. There's dinners with, um, there's, I'm doing a dinner with Dell. I'm hoping to do a dinner with Rob and Jess. Um, Dell's doing a dinner with Annabelle. Those are opportunities to, to meet everyone else there and pitch and network and make connections and then also meet with each of us. And definitely for, for me, Every person that is involved in my fest that's going to attend, like I said, I'm, I'm going to try to be the ambassador for them um, and just put in a lot of effort into, you know, especially for maybe the introverts. Um, Likewise. Being that liaison. Oh, so it's great. So people really have a really good shot of something coming of this event of the mega fest. I hope so. Otherwise, you know, this is the first encounter where I want to say what happens at Vegas should not stay in Vegas. I think everyone should go home and tell everyone about it. Right, right. right. Well, I, I've, I've been to some festivals, you know, um, internationally and here in the States um, where I never got that sense where I felt like I had an, like a real shot. You know, it was like you try, you exchange business cards, you try to follow up, but you know, falls to the wayside or people get busy doing something else or they're just they're really not interested and you guys seem like you're genuinely sincere about cultivating a relationship with something that may seem viable like an, a great script or a great you know film or something that you see and I think that's in itself worth an admission price just to have that opportunity to meet someone who can you can really connect with and see what happens. I mean, you guys are really that way, right? Or am I just completely missing the boat? No. Well, I mean, Rob and I just met there and look at us working together. And, you know, I saw, I was in Vegas doing some work and in my hotel room, I turn it on and his film that I watched at the festival the year before was recommended on the TV at the, the Vegas thing. And I call, I told him and he was like, I didn't even know that's, that's great news, yeah. you know? So he's, he's really a, a wonderful person to know. And I really recommend people submit and check out their website and see in detail what he's offering. It is, I don't know if I've ever come across um, an opportunity like what, what he's offering. 
I hope that the press speaks for itself and then like next year it's just yeah word of mouth spreads you know and just keep building so actually now is the time for any new new filmmaker or new screenwriter to get in because this is your first year so they have better chance this year than they would have next year or the year thereafter so you know get in now because you guys, it sounds like you guys are going to really be moving and shaking and make things happen really fast. I mean, you, you already are. Yeah. Is, you know, I mean, I can feel the energy and it's so exciting. You know, it's like you're making things happen. You're creating films and, and you're open to seeing what's out there. That's, that's incredible. And now is the time because we did have to postpone 2020. So we're actually celebrating all of the submissions that were in for 2020 this year. So it's 2020 and 2021. And so many festivals have either gone under because of COVID or are just happening online. So we expect to see around 6,000 people a day at the festival. So if your film is in the screenings and you are there, you have the, the opportunity to meet more people than you might have the opportunity to in the future. Um, so it's very, very unique here in that regard. Mm. So if people want to submit, when is the deadline? When is the absolute deadline for someone to submit, whether it's a poem or a short film or feature film or script? Uh, June 25th for us. Okay, June 25th, and Aaron? Mine is July 5th and okay. this this extra special promotion that we're running is only um, where you submit both of our festivals and get half off of each. That only is going till the 30th of May. So okay. that's a very limited um, opportunity. And you have a special code for that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I, I saw that on um, social media. So I'll, I'll share that when I post this on YouTube. Um, so they have that until May 30th, okay. All right, well, I, th I think people should definitely, definitely submit. Okay, so once all this is over, because you're going to be there a week, right? July 26th through August 1st are, are the dates, right? What happens for you guys when it's over? What happens next? You guys, you know, take a nap. You guys finally get some sleep after being up for you know, seven consecutive days. Or um, do you go straight back to work? I'm taking my kids to see their grandparents on the East Coast for 10 days. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. So I'll be on, I'll be in uh, New Jersey for 10 days with my family. Oh, that's a, all right then. Yeah. And then I go right back into uh, another feature, uh, pre production. Yeah. While Rob's with his kids, I'll be sleeping for those 10 days and then I'll be <laughs> enjoying and working. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Mind so, you, that uh, raising kids is uh, so much harder than making movies. So it's like, yeah, no sleep for me. <laughs> How old are you? Uh, five and seven. Oh my gosh, yes, you get no sleep. Yeah. Sorry, you get five hours sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's, well, that's high. Are they mini filmmakers themselves? Um, yeah, they, they're in uh, Bobcat. Um, with They have scenes with Taryn Manning. Now, I understand there's a Young Storytellers Festival that's part of AOF. Is oh yeah, that's right. Um, that I don't know much about it, but there is, right? Yeah. Right. That's, yep, that's Harold Brown, um, and he, the, it's free to enter, and I forget the age cutoff, um, but Harold is an accomplished writer and just, just the most wonderful person um, around. He's, he's in Canada, so he's actually been, been going through quite a bit with um, COVID, uh, but he's just hustling like crazy, and that is that is his inspiration. Um, and he created Young Storytellers, which is a tremendous opportunity for young people to get involved with the fest. Uh, I know the rules in Canada right now are really strict. So yeah. hopefully he'll be able to make it out in July. Yes, yeah. we are praying. Right. Um, wow. Well, I'm just, I'm very excited for you. Is there anything that you guys would like to add about your festivals? Because you, you pretty much, you're offering multiple categories for people to submit. There really is no excuse for any artist not to submit. You know, your fees seem very reasonable and the opportunity for you know, networking and having something come of it seems tremendous. I mean, the opportunity is there. So pretty much it's like, okay, 
all right, we're here. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I just feel like it's, we just encourage people to submit and send yeah. us their stuff and send as much as you can. I feel like in last year with everyone being cooked up, like I'm sure even the silly videos that you think are not worth submitting, like send them in, you know, sometimes it's like the best kind of work of art is something that's so simple and, and uh, subtle. And so I, I feel like I'm, I just can't only encourage artists of like submit to us or look up our information because we'd love to get to know the new talent that's out there. Cause I think there's a bunch of new talent that is going to be seen in the future. And um, I plan to give um, all the films and the demo reels for actors some feedback as well. I'm going to give them a couple of lines. So that's like another really interesting perk, I think, invaluable. For $35, just submit your demo reel and get feedback and have like a, yeah, five, five women, five men chance of like getting into the festival for free. It's like a, a no-brainer. So when you're looking at a demo, what exactly are you looking for? Like it? A minute, two Authenticity. minutes. Authenticity. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I think it's under five minutes. I don't know. Like, whatever we said on there, I don't mind it. I'll watch it. But I'm looking for just like a, a moment of, of truth. Yeah. Personally, I think that's what life should be about. Let's let's have this moment of truth. You know, <laughs> let's just be our authentic selves. So that's awesome. I like that. Well, I know a lot of actors, so I'll put that out there also. It's like what Thank a great. You. Well, and the the actor opportunity doesn't stop there. So. We are working with Aaron Seals, um, who is head of New York Casting. So he will be, uh, all of our festivals, I think, are, are coming in on this opportunity too um, for actors to submit their reels and they will be seen by the head of casting at New York Casting, which is like an, just an unbelievable opportunity. Um, again, Rob's prizes I just hope that you go on because for me to be able to tell my friends and filmmakers about his festival mm -hmm. and guide them towards that opportunity um, is is awesome that that I get to collaborate in that way um, so I really encourage people to do that my festival prizes are a little bit different they're they really are more geared towards publicity and um, rising your star so m some of the prizes will include getting um, press in magazines and articles written about them. Um, we also are offering software. Um, we're offering some cash prizes. Um, and and obviously for actors, which I, as an actor, have you know, grown up with a lot of them, to be able to offer them a chance to be seen, not only in front of Aaron Seals, but also, you know, Rob, who's in production from films all the time and is going to be developing um, some of the winners of his fest. That is an opportunity for actors to be seen by a, a successful director and producer. And that's what actors always are trying to do. They're always trying to get in front of that next person who can cast them in something. Um, you, as an independent filmmaker, though, it's and your budget. So say you have a like lower end budget than. Uh, big fat budget um do you use a casting director or is it something that you just do yourself i consult with casting directors i, I used to hire them in the past um i worked with some many great ones but uh lately i've grown to know to, i've grown to know a lot of the agents and managers in town myself so um reaching out to them and casting my own films myself has become like a, a passion and something that i do as well myself well yeah and i can I can see I can see you doing that because you know you have the vision of how you want your film to do and yeah. you know so many actors anyway. And I um, love going through the breakdowns. It's like whenever I had a casting director and I wasn't able to like go and in, into their account and see all the breakdowns myself, mm -hmm. I was kind of bummed. You know? So now I get to have access to all of it myself. And then as your budget gets bigger, then uh, I don't know. I, I, I just see you always being able to do that because you do, you do love that and you have that passion for it. And I, I think that's part of the authenticity, you know, sticking with what you love and what is yeah. exciting to you and you, you know, you're building, you're creating. I actually just released a breakdown as well for a film that a feature film that's going to be shooting in the fall. Um, uh, yeah. In uh, New York and Connecticut. Oh. Um, there's many roles in there. And so what I don't look out for that. Yeah. And what is that? It's called, it's called uh, Moments of Youth. It's like a, like a young adult uh, 
film. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Like a high, high school scavenger hunt sort of film. Like it's like can't hardly wait meets like a rat race because there's like a, like a time factor and like a, like a scavenger hunt element in it. It's, yeah, it's a great concept. Um, Writer director is Greg Pellerito. Yeah. All right. And every actor that submits um, their reel will be, we're, we're creating a database that will be available to all of the directors that are involved in the festival. Um, so it's an opportunity to not just be seen in that in this one festival, but over time, they'll be in that this database that Rob can draw from, or I can draw from, or Annabelle or Dell. Um, or now that that's an extra bonus. I mean, what other film festival does that? No one. I mean, that's an incredible opportunity for any actor. That, to be in that kind of debt, debt. And this is all from the cost of submission, right? I mean, yeah. if you're accepted, right? Okay, this is, how could anyone not submit? This is so exciting. The opportunities are endless. You just need to put yourself out there. Um, okay, I'm gonna open up. Um, Carrie or David, do you have any questions that you'd like to ask Aaron, Rob, or Jess? No, yes, I know you're both on mute, so I'm kind of putting you on the spot. <laughs> You want to jump in later? That's quite all right too. Oh, so, so I have a question. So, Aaron, so what sparked your adventure? Um, Dell kind of sparked the the actual opportunity by by offering it, but it I already had the concept there of Miracle Makers, and it's in the name that it's not a, just about one person but I truly believe that God gives us the authority. I mean, it's even in scripture to perform miracles greater than, than Christ did. <laughs> and I, I believe that we do have the power to perform miracles for each other. And so miracle makers is, is about kind of creating a community of, of people that believe in one another and can, can contribute to making other people's visions come to life and to, in, in unity, making miracles for one another and, and becoming a part of, of that community allows miracles to be made, you know, for you and for you to become a miracle maker yourself. So that, that's been my dream probably since I can remember. And this festival, I always thought it would be a production company, which I hope to one day have. Um, but this film festival is, um, an equally brilliant, uh, perfect opportunity to, to put that into action. Oh. That's it. Well, I, I love that it's so faith-based. And I mean, that, you know, there's such truth to that and you don't really see that. So I appreciate that very much. That, that's, that, that warms my heart, you know. <laughs> just, all right. Um, all right, so Rob, Jess, you guys, for um, first frame, I'm super excited for you guys. You guys offering feedback, you know, is awesome. I love that because I, I know so many people like to know, you know, what did they think of it or what can I do better or, you know, um, just that little extra, I feel goes a long way. Um, how soon are you gonna let people know once they've submitted? I mean, will they know just before the festival um, or do you have a deadline of when you can, have your announcements? Um, we haven't really thought about that actually. Uh, we, well, we plan to announce the, the selections uh, selections by, uh, I think we said July 1st or 2nd. Okay. Um, and then that way, uh, you know, probably for those who actually been selected, we'll know probably a couple, two days early, but we'll announce it around then. Yeah, we're not gonna let anything really out unless we really know we want something we won't really let anything known ahead of time okay good good and then just kind of do it all at once yeah that's, really that's the way it should be you know right yeah um i something i've always wondered um when someone submits like a film or a script and it doesn't win but they turn around and either rewrite the script or they re-edit the film and resubmit it is that something that you guys I would recommend or would you want to see it again or read it again or is that something people should just not even worry about and just like go on something new um i think that if the concept 
is strong and they rewrite it, then it has a chance of becoming something good. But if the concept was flawed from the start, then there's no point in rewriting it. It's right. funny you ask that. I met with Rob um, once in LA after we had met at the festival and I had kind of pitched him a concept, actually a couple concepts. And he, this was before I started film school and formally started learning screenwriting. And he looked at the beginning of, of one of the concepts that he loved and, but he was like, oh, okay, um, typically you need to do this and this and this and this um, in writing professionally. And also, and, and so I, I have since then rewritten that script thanks to, you know, to some of Rob's advice and another concept that he loved that I hadn't even written a script of, um, I actually wrote it as a short film. So I, I never su formally submitted them to Rob, but I did present them to him and he gave me some good advice that I think I applied and, and maybe he would now be more, even more excited about them. Um, I don't know if you remember that Rob, but I do. <laughs> I'll help you out in any way I can, you know that. So yes, absolutely, I'm excited for it. Well, I think too, as an artist, you you have to be open to change. I mean, if you're gonna be working on a collaborative effort, such as a film, I mean, it's, you know, I'm all for having your vision, but to be able to hear, you know, crit constructive criticism, you know, to tweak it or change it, you know, so it's better, where you're kind of all on the same page of, you know, the creation to make it better, I, I think that's great. Then you, you know, I, I think that's part of, part of it, you know, being open to grow so the whole project grows. Um, unless you have something like, you know, was it that Tom Cruise movie, The, the Mummy, where you had like a dozen people, you know, butchering it away and it flops. But anyway, <laughs> um, you know, I, ju I just think it's great that you're all willing to put in the time and effort to make something meaningful happen. Um, Carrie, did you have anything you want to? say or throw in? Can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. uh, this has been so, so informative and exciting to hear about. Um, uh, I guess I just wanted to clarify. So with submitting the, the actor reels, is that a thing that you do to each, in, is there a spot for that with each individual festival or if, like if you submit through one festival, does it go into that um, like big database in the end that you were talking about, Erin, um, that other filmmakers can pull from in the future? Um, yeah, I think it's a combination of. So I know okay. my, my festival already has a real option for not only actors, um, but directors, cinematographers, specifically for the actors. Um, I do believe it will. I think I'm not sure what festivals have already included that, um, but I know Rob's Fest, this was really designed for Rob's Fest. Mm -hmm. And I think the benefit of the individual festivals will be the director that it's going in front of. So with Rob, he is in production constantly and he, you know, these are some of the prizes that he's offering paid acting work. Mm -hmm. So you would, I would, I would encourage you to look at the prizes of each festival. And I definitely encourage you to submit your reel to Rob's um, mm -hmm. because he is actively casting. Right. All different kinds of roles, ages, sexes, races, everything. Yeah, yeah. great, great, mm -hmm. thanks. Yeah. Well, this is all- Same Genres, all different genres too, yeah. You, you are one busy man. Well, you're also busy. And I, I think that's wonderful because like I said, you want to get something done, give it to a busy person. And you guys okay. are making it all happen, which is very exciting. Okay, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because we've been talking for just over, well, about an hour now. Um, I don't, I'm sorry, Dell wasn't able to make it on. I, I know he's super busy doing a lot of different things, but I would suggest that people go to your website to First Frame International Film Festival and to Miracle Makers International Film Festival. And I love that they're both international. So you're opening it up to everyone all over. Um, check it out on Film Freeway or go to actiononfilmfest.com. There's a list of all the festivals there, which ultimately take you to Film Freeway. Um, so many opportunities from actor demo reels to shorts, to features, to 
poems, spoken word. There's even a section for um, scenes, I believe. I saw that on there. Um, just so many opportunities for so many people to take advantage of. You guys are offering so much. It's so nice to see professionals like yourselves be so giving and put it out there. I think we need more of that. I think that is very healing to a community that's been very hurt by this ongoing pandemic. So it's gonna be nice to see people come out and be part of something that could be truly magical. Um, it's gonna be in Las Vegas, July 26th through August 1st. I hope to see all of you there. I, I want people to submit and be accepted and um, have a lot of fun. All right, is there anything else that you guys would like to say, put it out there? Just go for it, do it. Go Make for it, it. Hey, hey. <laughs> right? Believe in yourself. You know, it's like, just do it. Don't let anyone tell you no. I mean, if someone seems mean or grouchy or just like, okay, that's your problem. I got my script. I got my story. You know, this is what I got. You know, be a nice person about it and, and make some connections happen. You never know what's going to happen, right? Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah, Rob Margulies, your website is Rob Margulies. Filmmaker.com. Yeah. Um, check it out. It's an amazing website. Lots of opportunities. Jessica Carolla, um, Carollo, right? Jessica. You have a website also, right? Yeah. JessicaCarollo.com. And Aaron Miracle, you have your website. Eric well, I have my film festival website, and then Dell is actually making me uh, AaronMiracle.com. So that is in the works. Okay, well, I will put links to all your sites on the YouTube description below. And I hope you get a flood of submissions because I want to see some real competition going on here. <laughs> and when people show up, it's a you know, meeting of great minds and talent and people who really want to make things happen. So thank you all of you for your time and energy. And I look forward to seeing you in July. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Right, have a good night guys. Bye. Bye.